Boom! Look at that. It's a Thursday morning. How you doing, you lot? I got a bit of trouble. I had a bit of trouble yesterday with the old Land Rover. Now, what happened was, I was driving along, right? I was just, whoa, dude. I was driving along. And uh, a bit of power went down, a bit of bogging. So I had a look. Everything's dandy. But the only trouble is, the problem being, is uh, I had a look with the old trusty nano bomb. I've got, I've got the old nano bomb out, look. And it come up and it told me there's a code of 2.8 ambient tip, ambient air pressure logged low. Now I don't know what that means really. I mean, who cares if he's got low pressure? The air pressure is 100 kPa, 101 kPa. So I've just been on the way to work this morning. I've turned the old uh, nano com on, and reset the code, and monitoring. The boost pressure is about 1.4 bar, which is about 20 psi on full boost, but it only spikes to them. So I'm just having a little play around, trying to work out what the problem is. I reckon that sensor's a little bit dicky. And then I was just playing around with all the other settings, that you can, you can check all the bloody things that I've got. Uh, brake switches off, see, but if I press the brake, it switches, it goes over to one and then off, and then the clutch, switch, press the clutch down. Boof, there's a the clutch, hello! <laughs> I love playing around with these things. And seeing what things we got. See, there shouldn't be any fault codes there now. No fault code stored in the ECU, which is a good thing. Because I reset that and it, it didn't happen on the way home. See what that does in there, look. It's in bloody kilometres. Why is it in kilometres? I don't know. I don't like kilometres. That tells you all this kind of stuff. It's bloody good. Good fun. Play with. Cylinder. Cylinder balances, look. It doesn't make a difference if you rev it up or not. bit smoky nowadays unfortunately but um, uh, we'll be alright I'm sure it'll be alright well I hope it'll be alright <laughs> a little bit of white smoke but that might just be I think that's down to the bloody map I, asked, I, I mapped it for black smoke and it used to be black smoke and now it's gone white but it, it's alright I just got to try and work out what that problem was and I got to do that bloody uh, Power steering pump, not pump. The pump does need to be done, but I've got to do the bloody uh, pipe. The pipe is leaking a little bit. Anyway, oh look, I've got some drone footage of that building. Do you have a look at it? Have a look at this drone footage of that building. Oh, it makes us tits. Oh,
What did you think of that? Bloody hell, I've got to try and get in there. You have to go through the people. But I'm going to go and ask permission and see if I can get in there. I don't really fancy bloody trying to sneak in. Anyway, these are good, these nanogoms. If you've got um, any type of Land Rover, Defender, P38, Discovery, whatever, get a nanocom, man, because they're bloody handy. Because you can remap your car. You can. I'm, I use this nanocom, and that's how I got my stage 3 map. So I put it on it with a nanocom. Uh, you can check the fault codes, read, you can record your data, you can go on a drive and record all the data. Um, I think you can set up injectors and things with it. So it's a bloody good thing and it comes in a nice comes in a nice box. You know what I'm like for boxes, I like a box. It comes in a nice box with a magnetic side. Yeah. Mine's um, a bit old now and quite well used, but they probably make new ones now. Definitely recommend getting one. Why are you not? Another day now, bloody Friday, lovely. You know what? I was talking to someone the other day, right? And uh, it started to rain a little bit. Like it is now. It's raining now, look. You can see that. Bit of rain. Bit of rain coming down. Bit of rain. Right. And uh, he goes, oh, blimey. You'd think of all what's going on at the moment with this corona disease that um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be getting any rain. I said, dude, just because there's, you know, something happening at the moment that's a bit out of the ordinary don't mean that everything stops life carry the world carries on going round we still get rain we still get sun we still get snow we still get thunder and lightning we still get everything nothing stops everything still carries on but at the moment the world seems to be revolving around this disease and everybody seems to think that everything else stops Everything else still carries on. It just makes me laugh the way people talk about it. I'll tell you what, you lot, seeing as it's raining, and uh, I'm sitting here waiting to go to work, I'll tell you what, the job I'm on at the moment is pretty cool. We're putting down layers of clay and uh, filling up a little hole and everything, putting it up to level, to put homes on, put new houses on. 400 new homes apparently are going on it, like flats and stuff like that and houses. I don't agree with new houses, but, you know, fucking work isn't it you know what I mean and I suppose you've got to develop and stuff I don't like the way they build them I think they're shit and tell you what talking to people right all the home builders have got really bad reputations I've heard loads of stories now about these home people you know they're throwing the houses up and uh, it ain't no good workmanship but anyway let's get some comments up and see what you lot have been saying alrighty then so Six hours ago, top of the list, Melanie Jackie gives me thumbs up on the PMR radio video. Thank you very much. Redog69, drill it out and tap it. That looks like that was on a PW80 video. Not sure what I'm meant to be drilling out and tapping, but uh, thanks for the comment. Richard Brown, the butterfly is the choke. Well, I think he's replying to um, somebody. You know, I said I can't remember. I think he had the butterfly. Yeah, Richard, I know that. That's what I was referring to. The butterfly, you know, is the choke. But what I'm, what I was trying to say, because someone said, does he not have a choke on the car? I was trying to say that the butterfly is the only method of choking. It is what I was trying to say. Um, uh, I'm fully aware that. Uh, Sometimes the way that I say things implies something completely different. And that's something that happens in my life all the time. You know, I say something, or and then everybody uh, and the people I'm talking to think I mean something different. And I'm thinking, what the bloody hell are they doing? You know, or what are they not, why are they not doing that? And then they're like, oh, you, you said not to do it. I didn't say not to do it. I was just asking why you're doing that. If something like that, for example, you know. So, yeah, sorry if I said that in the wrong way there, dude. What else we got down here then? A bit further down the list, 12 hours ago, MF50B. On my latest video, the uh, Kia service, did you sell the van as well? Yep, well, the van is is currently up for sale. Um, currently needing a bit of dollar at the moment, a bit of money. So, I'm having a reshuffle around. 
kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so I sold the Focus, the Mark One Focus RS. That's sold. I sold it to an old friend who's actually restored it a little bit, and then uh, he's sold it on again, and probably made a load of money because that's what he does. He's a bloody car salesman, and um, yeah, I lost a lot of money on that car, but I needed to sell it. Plus, I sold it to make a point. You know, everyone's saying you'll never sell that car. You'll never sell that. You know, you care about that more than everything else. So I was like, well, fuck you. I don't give a shit about that car. So I sold it. <laughs> Just to make a point, pretty much, but also I needed a dollar. Um, we're trying to get, we're trying to get a proper f new family car that we can rely on, so that we can go out on adventures and then bring loads of videos to you lot on adventures around the country and you know France and all that. Once all this disease blows over, I and mean, we can start driving around different countries, we want to get a nice, reliable car. So the plan, that's the plan. You know, sell everything and uh, restart again and build up, if that makes any sense. So yeah, vans up for sale. No one wants it, but no, I'm not expecting anyone to bloody buy it anyway, because everyone's scared of buying stuff, aren't they? So, um, yeah, that's that. So, what else we got here? Uh, uh, right, next one down. Uh, looks like I've read this one. Oh, I have read it, yeah. Stuart Sharp. Use a filter strap. That's on the uh, Kia servicing video. Now, in that video, um, I'm taking off the oil filter. Now, on that Kia Canto, the oil filter is really close to the oil sump right and i had the chain you know like you get the uh, oil filter room like tools they're like a chain aren't they and you clip them on in it well that wouldn't fit the gap was too small the chain was too thick i have got a strap one but i can't find it and even if so i don't think it would have fitted in that gap because the strap is quite thick so the next method the last result that i always resort to is getting a um a punch of some description a chisel or something like that and hammering it into the filter and then you can use that to wrench it round and it, it come off. But that's fucking tight anyway, that filter. It had been done in the dealership and, you know, they always wrench them on bloody tight. You don't need to go that tight. For an oil filter, just bloody hand tight as tight as you can get it. With your hand, that's tight enough. Anyway, yeah, punching it in and undoing it. It's always, it always works. Um, unless you're very unlucky and maybe you'll strip the thread or something. But that's, mate, that's not going to happen. So, yep, use a filter strap. I've got one, didn't find it, couldn't find it, and it wouldn't have worked anyway, I think. Next one down. Uh, Nifty Thrifty Camping. Adventures and Gear. So this is one day ago. Agreed, Ben. A lot of hams forget their roots and get all snobby. 27 megahertz free, Ben. Gets a lot of, lot of noise. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Well, they do. I think in that video, that was on the Hilltop Sunday, when I was on top of the hill doing a bit of radio in the Sunday morning. Um... A lot of them, a lot of hams, mate, I laugh. I know, I, I don't moan about them. Probably another example of where I say things and people take it the wrong way. I don't moan about hams. I just laugh about the hams, right? The ones that get really snobby. And, then I, and you know, and they, if you go on two metres, for example, and you talk in a, in a way that's not quite posh enough, and they go, oh, this isn't CB, you know. You can't talk like that on here. This is not CB. And, um, you know, and I'm like, where did you come from? What was you doing in the 1970s and 80s? Oh, and I was on the CB. Now, uh, none of them would admit it, but, well, some of them do, but not a lot. You come from CB. And not only that, if you're talking on two metres, it's usually two metres, because that's where they're snobbiest. Oh, and probably 80 metres or 160 metres. 40 metres is alright, you don't get a lot of chat on there really. So, you know, you're talking on there and you say, yeah, I go on the CB sometimes, and they go, oh, oh the CB? You go on the CB, do you? Right, okie dokie then, well I'm going to be off now. <laughs> a lot of them get like that. And I just laugh about it. Just because I complain about it, don't mean I don't like them, I don't like it. They are, they are, they just forget where they, they forget, you know, they, they you know. Oh, I'm too good now, I'm an M0. <laughs> Another one from Nifty Fifty Camping. Thanks for the upload, I had an audio line 341 back in the day. Identical rig, just different front. Worked a treat. Uniden boards were the bollocks back in the 80s. Oh yeah, man. What was this one all about? What was that one? 
Oh, the Uniden 200. Oh, man. The Uniden 200, that worked the tits. The, the internal speaker was fucked. It didn't work. But it didn't a problem. There weren't a problem. I put that in my in my machine when I was working somewhere else. I stuck it in the machine, put a fire stick, a mini fire stick on the roof. <laughs> hooked up an external speaker. Oh, bloody hell. That was a brilliant radio. Excellent reports, that Uniden 200. That, right, that particular radio that he was commenting on has spent its entire life in bulldozers. It was in a D8 and a D6 and other blades ever since 1981 when the person I know bought it. And then in 2019, he gave it to me and I put it in my one, in my machine. He spent his whole life in a bulldozer. It's falling apart. All the knobs are vibrating off. Everything's vibrating off. It's got a power adjustment on it. But it works fucking bollocks. It's in the back, it's in the back of the car now. Go down the list a bit more. Daniel Crook. Let's hope he's not a crook. Oh, hello, look, we've got a comment here. I've been in the background. I thought it was a check. We've got the carburetor housed up the engine. How do you know? I don't know what to do every morning. Thanks. Was. Never said he's been taking one away. Yeah, man, same. I bought my first bike. Hey. Thanks, bro. This is a comment one month ago that I didn't even read. Thanks, bro. I got my motorcycle, 1,400cc, but have choke. I thought the choke pull gas on the carburetor and is how start the engine. He, this bloke obviously not English, is he? But now I know what to do every morning, thanks to you, bro. Oh, right. Oh, no, bro, no worries, Tabitha. Oh, Tabitha. That's oh, a woman. Tabitha. Sorry, I thought you were a bloke. You're Tabitha. That's a woman. Um, was very frustrated to use the choke every morning without know how work. <laughs> and someone else said the same. Oh, well, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad. Oh, hello. I'm glad my video on how to use a choke has, uh, has helped you out. Uh, Rod Smith, can you put any streamer heads on this, on the SGS streamer? I, I think so, as long as the thread is the same uh, with Dama. The random man. Damn it, I'm in a minority. Well, that's good for you, dude. Fraser Edmund. Same streamer, same problem with their head. So I bought a new head, problem solved. Oh, well done. What's his name? Fraser. Well done. Yep. Yeah, well, the, SG, the SGS streamer. The SGS streamer harness is shit, and the SGS... Um, head spool thing is shit. Don't you know if you're gonna buy one of the streamer itself, the engine and everything's okay, the rest of it's shit, man. Hopefully, they've redesigned it now. I'd like to find out because I'd like to get a lot of questions and I could do another video review. Yeah, look, I've got another question here. Do you know if they redesigned the spool? Want to buy a 5 Monty Garden to appreciate answer, champ. Yeah, I think I replied to I don't know what's the other one. Did the replacement spool sent you work better? Must have lined cut through the brown was it? The price it got silly while I've been choosing which one to buy. No, but has Yeah, I've already read this one, obviously. I replied. Yeah, like I just said to you, the SGS, I don't know if they redesigned it. I might about contact them, but I, I think they get the out with me, keep asking them bloody questions, SGS Engineering, because I'm always asking them questions. Have you fixed this? Have you fixed that? I'd like to review this. I'd like to review that. Because I support SGS Engineering because they make stuff in England, you know. As far as I know, anyway. You know, and uh, they said they were going to send me one of their new compressors to test and review, but then they never did. And uh, they they sent me a replacement streamer head, but it's exactly the same fucking one. You know, it, it was still shit. It didn't work. So I don't know. I might contact them and say like, "Have you redesigned the head? If you have, can I have one to test?" And then I can answer a lot of your questions because I, I don't know the answers. I get questions every day on Instagram about a streamer. You know. Have they redesigned the harness? Have they redesigned the head? I want one, but that's putting me off. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'll have to find out.